forward. The wild dogs are chasing the hyenas. It's crazy. I don't even know where to look at this point. Hi, it's me, Trishala, and Paul and Camera. Welcome on board. We're gonna keep moving. Remember that we are a oh, welcome and we are live interactive hyena behind us. <laughs> so you can send through your questions and your comments, but you can do that by going over to our website and registering. There's two of them there. Let's keep moving. The wild dogs have gone down towards Lamont's dip. Good morning, guys. <laughs> what a way to start. It's a beautiful morning. We first saw the hyenas. There's at least, there we go, dogs. They're going after this, these hyenas. Whoa, we just drove up this way as we normally do. Come check if there's, if the hyenas are coming out that way, they've got a kill. No, they don't. Look like they did, but it looks like they're just lying down. But they've definitely made a kill. You can see that there's blood around their neck areas. They do have a kill there. Whoa. We're gonna watch them from this distance because there's just so much happening around us that if we move, <laughs> there's no point in moving. We don't know when the next bit of action is gonna happen. Oh, there we go, there we go. I feel like I'm in the middle of the match. We have all, a whole, all the hyenas on my left, all the wild dogs on my right. And soon, start boxing again. Michelle, you say it's going to be a Ferrari safari again? Whew. It's still quite early. They could go on hunting again. There we go. One hyena has come in there. Sneakily. Very close to the wild dogs. Off some scraps. How lucky are we that one, the wild dog stayed on the property because they don't need to. They, I thought they would have been gone. I really, really thought they would have been gone already. But they stayed right here, close to our camp. Oh, leopard in the tree. Huh? Leopard in the tree. What? What? <laughs> leopard in the tree. Oh my goodness. This is insane. Oh no, look at that face. It's ribs. <laughs> His face looks like what happened. Was that mine? Huh? <laughs> oh, goodness. Can you believe this in Paul? This is not 500 meters from our camp right now. This is what can happen in the morning. This is why I love a morning safari. That sunrise safari, the air is cold, the sun pops out, and it's sort of like everything from the night before. There's either clues, there's evidence, or you catch the tail end like this.
taking it and gone. There's my reason. Tree, I'll get us a little bit closer. There's a line of trees there, so I can't see too well, but there he is. Oh! <laughs> Catherine, you say, don't forget to breathe. Oh, look at this precious moment. He's having a drink. Okay, Catherine. Paul, are you breathing? Yeah. You're breathing, okay. <sighs> Leopard lover, absolutely having the time of my life. This is what I've been waiting for, honestly. And if we keep following up on the story, we might get to the point where the browns come in. It's, it's said that here in Medique, at least, of course, there are specialized adaptations for different parts of the world. But here in Medique, the browns wait. They can't compete with the spotties. They just can. So they wait. They may even be on the periphery. And they wait until the spotties leave. And they come in to sort of pick up the mere scraps at the very, very end. Scraps of bone any tiny bits of flesh that might be remaining. So that's sort of how it works here with regards to the brownies. So much action here. This elephant is not happy. Another herd of elephants. That looks like a proper sized herd from the looks of it. Sure. Look at all of them. Well, it was a fantastic morning, just like Vivian mentioned earlier. Well, we had mostly elephants and we had that fantastic big elephant bull. But there was uh, just one last little look. We are nearing the end of today's show. We are heading back to camp. We're going to have a lovely breakfast. And we see you all this afternoon for another live adventure into the wilds of Africa. Music